Hi. Oh, hi, Dan. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Uh, you know, having a good time, enjoying the sun, lovely weather. Beautiful day here at Gross Rock. It's, it's wonderful. How many times have you been here? Uh, a few. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I always get so wasted, I can't even remember. Well, it's it's hard to remember last that's week. That's what Belgium is for. <laughs> that's right. I don't think I've ever been sober in, in Belgium. That's why I love it. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the acoustics that you're going to do on the ground today? Uh, yes, it's going to be very quiet, very mellow, kind of boring, but you know, well, you'll hear the songs in a in a in a strange fashion. Uh, I've never seen an acoustic zebra at gig before, yeah. except for that one time the power went down in Ostende. Yes. Uh, how do you remember that night? I, it was a good time. You know, it's funny. It's <clears throat> that I, I always have this. I have this practice amp that doesn't need power. It has batteries, and uh, it's the only day on tour I didn't bring that into the venue. And I'm like, fuck, that would have been perfect for the power going out, and we didn't have it. So it was a fun day because we got everybody to be quiet and everybody sing along. It was actually one of those memorable experiences of, of touring. Yeah. So it was really cool. Everybody was into it, sing along, everybody kept quiet. It was kind of awesome. It was really, I liked it. That was probably one of my favorite acoustic moments ever. So we've done a few acoustic things like on radio and stuff like that, but that one was really special. Yeah, it was special to me too because, yeah. you, you know, I've never seen an acoustic gig. So. Right, it was just like, okay, what the fuck are we going to do? Yeah. It, was, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, you did great. So you yeah. sounded. Thank you. Um, imagine you weren't in this band. So what would you be doing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I he used to be a bartender. If so, I'd be a bar. So anything but booze, you know, like drinking. So that's, I, that's the only reason I play in this band because I get free booze. Okay. And that's why I used to bartend, free booze. Oh so, yeah. So relocate. To yeah. Belgium. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to. I think it would be awesome to live here. You know, LA is, you know, too much traffic. It'd be, it'd be nice here. Oh yeah. Yeah. You think there's less traffic in Belgium? Oh yeah. Have you ever been to LA? Yes. The traffic's fucking terrible. I know, but it's worse there. <laughs> In LA, it's fucking insane. You can't, you're like, okay, I gotta leave at like 1 p.m. Oh, I can't drive anywhere from 1 p.m. till 10 p.m. Cause I'm gonna be fucking stuck. You know, so you're just like, okay, you plan your day out. Like, all right, hey, where do you live? 20 minutes away? Hey, I'm not coming to visit you, man. It's fucking 3 p.m. Fuck, sorry, it'll take me nine hours to get there. Oh, that's that's a mellow drive. Usually it's longer. And I just, I've been trying to take the train, which is kind of cool. It's a train that uh, runs from, I live in Orange County, you take the train into LA, which is awesome. So I've been trying to do that, and it also keeps me from drinking and driving, which is good, but it's very fun. I really like drinking and driving. Um, it's such a good time. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Don't drink and drive, kids. <laughs> yeah, you know, unless you have to. <laughs> in LA, everybody drinks and drives. Because you have to drive everywhere, it's a fucking pain in the ass. Boat transportation is terrible. I know it is. Oh, yeah, so. California, it's terrible. Yeah. San Francisco, it's good, but LA, it's terrible. It's getting better. But, oh, well. Um, companies who pick playful or meaningless job titles. Um, every single job is being aggrandized. Manicurists became nail technicians. A receptionist became a director of first impressions. If you could shake a drink, you're a mixologist. If you could pick a playful job title for what you do, what yeah. would it be? Uh, uh, string fondler. String fondler? Yes. Explain. Well, I play guitar, I got strings, I like to fondle. Yeah, string fondler. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, if you could describe the other band members in one word, what, would, what would, word would you choose? Uh, very handsome. Yes. Every single one. Every one. Every. Oh, I'm in a, band, a bunch of male models. <laughs> well, thank you, Dan, for this interview. Um, is there anything else you would like to talk about? Yes, I would like to tell you about my life story. Uh, so it all began on a long summer night, and uh, no, I'm fine. I'm actually good. Thank you so much. Love Gross Rock. Love Belgium. Love beer. And I love everything. And we love Seabread. Thank you. Love What's you too. Belgian beer. Jupiler. Jupiler. Just play ah, it's it's just it's it's basic, but it does the tr it does the trick. It's smooth. It's good. It goes down well, and it's one of those things. It's not so much the beer, but the the memories I have with it. You know what I mean? Like I think oh, Jupiler. I think of like good times with friends. So it makes the beer that much better. So I know if I'm drinking Jupiler, I'm hanging out with good friends, and we're having a blast and laughing a lot. You know, it, we have a commercial. Yeah. And in Dutch, it says "Bottle the meat and wine," and it means men know why. 
So it's like Jupiter, man no wine. Man no wine. I like that. Uh, I do like wine, but I like the man no wine. That's, that's, that's a good <laughs> phrase. No wonder I like Jupiter so much. <laughs> Well, thank you, Dan. I hope you have uh, a great time tonight in Cruz Rock, and too. good luck with the uh, acoustic set. Okay, thank I you. hope the power doesn't go down. Well, it's, <laughs> it won't matter then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.